The Gifts of Wali Dad, adapted from The Gifts of Wali Dad, A Tale of India and Pakistan, by Aaron Shepherd. Hello. Greetings. My name is Wali Dad, and I'm going to tell you a story about the gifts of Wali Dad. I am a grass cutter. <laughs> a grass cutter, you think. What is a grass cutter? Well, what I do is I go into the forest in the morning and I cut grass. And then I bring it back to the to town and I, in the marketplace, I sell the grass. And for my efforts every day, I make 30 paces. This is what a pace is like. 30 paces. With 10 cases, I buy food. And with 10 cases, I buy other things that I need. And the last 10 cases, I put it in a pail underneath my bed. And that is what this story is about, is the cases in the pail under the bed. So, one morning, when I woke up, I thought, you know, I should check and see what is in that pail. And when I reached and pulled it out, I'm like, oh! it was completely full and in fact overflowing. I thought, oh dear, oh dear, what shall I do? But I need nothing. So I put the paces in a bag and I took them to a jeweler in the town. And for my bag of paces, he gave me a golden bracelet. It was very beautiful, but as I say, I need nothing. But I had an idea. I saw a friend of mine, a merchant, who travels, uh, who travels widely. So I called him over. Merchant, my friend. Yes, hello, Wally Dad. Um, tell me, my friend, uh, who is the noblest woman in the world? Hmm, I think that would be the Queen of Kyastan, just three days' journey to the east. Oh, you have met this paragon. Yes, several times. Oh, could you take this bracelet to her with my compliments? Yes, certainly. The next time I'm around, I shall do that. Thank you so much, my friend. Your Majesty. Oh, merchant, you are in town. Good to see you. Yes, I come bearing gifts from my friend Wally Dad. A gift from Wally Dad? I do not know this Wally Dad. Yes, it is a gold bracelet. How beautiful. I must send him a gift in return. Uh, servants, uh, get a camel and load it with fine silks. Merchant, could you please take these with my compliments? Wally Dad. As you wish. Wally Dad. Hmm. Oh. I've returned with a gift from the Queen. A gift from the Queen? Yes. Oh dear, oh dear. But, but I need no gifts. Oh, uh, what am I to do? Hmm? Perhaps uh, you could give it to someone else. That's a thought. Uh, uh, tell me, merchant. Who is the most noble man in the world? Mm, besides me, mm. I think perhaps the king of Nekabad, just three Nekabad. days' journey to the west. Oh, Nekabad. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Could you please, uh, uh, with your, of your favor, please, uh, take this uh, camel and, and the silks, of course, to him and uh, with my compliments? Certainly. I will do that as I go. Thank you. Your Majesty. Oh, uh, yes, Merchant. Oh, good to see you in town, yes. Hello, yes, I brought a gift from my friend Wally Dad. A gift from Wally Dad? I, I've never met this gentleman. Hmm, why does he send me such great, good, beautiful gifts? Uh, we will send him something, uh, something more. Uh, um, the servants uh, get together 
uh, 12 of my best horses and take them, merchant, take these with my compliments to Wally Dad. As you wish. Wally Dad. Returned with more gifts this time from the king. More gifts? Oh dear, horses! What am I to do with horses? Oh dear, merchant. Uh, oh please, uh, of your favor, uh, keep two of these for yourself. Okay. And, and take the rest with my compliments to the Queen of Kyastan. Please, Certainly. as soon as you are able. Yes, as you wish. Thank you. Oh, horses. Horses. <laughs> Your Majesty. Uh, yes, oh, merchant. Hey, hello, good to see you again. Hi, I returned oh. with a gift from Wally Dad. A, a gift from Wally Dad? Yes. Why does he persist in sending me such. Look at this. Ten horses. Why does he persist in sending me such wonderful gifts? Um, we will try to discourage him by sending him something he cannot match. Um, the uh, servants uh, get together 20 of my finest mules and load them with, hmm, let's load them with silver. And, and Merchant, please take these back to Wally Dad with my compliments. As you wish. Wally Dad. Uh, yes, good to see you. You as well. I've returned with more gifts from the Queen. More gifts? Ah! Yes. Mules! Loaded with... Is that silver? Yes. Oh dear, worse and worse. What am I to do? Oh dear, oh dear. Uh, uh, please, please, as a kindness to an old man, could you keep uh, two of these for yourself? And, and, and as, as quickly as you can, preferably without stopping, uh, take these to the King of Echabad. Certainly. Please, please. Oh. I will do this. Mules. Oh, oh dear. Oh. Your Majesty. Oh, Richard, uh, you are in town again. Uh, what is this that you have with you? A gift from Wally Dad. A gift from Wally Dad? What is he trying to do? Is he trying to prove himself the better man? Oh, wait, 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 there, uh, there, enough of this tomfoolery. Um, uh, uh, servants, uh, uh, get together uh, a caravan of, um, let me think, uh, we will send uh, four elephants and um, uh, ten, ten of my horses, uh, uh, with, with servants uh, and livery to, to 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 take care of everybody. And oh, no, let's not stop yet. Um, oh, how about ten camels? Hmm, for fully lay, fully in livery. That that will do it. I I, I don't think he'll manage to better that, but I guess we'll see. Uh, Emergent, please, uh, w with my blessing, could you take these with my compliments to Wally Dad? As you wish. Oh, what, what is this? Uh, 
A gift from Wally Dad. A gift from Wally Dad? We have elephants mm -hmm. and, and camels and horses and, and livery servants. Yeah. Very interesting. Why does he persist in bringing these rich gifts? Huh. I wonder if he is Oh, I wonder if he wishes to marry me. I should take possibly consider that when considering the size of these gifts. Uh, servants, uh, let us get a caravan together. Merchant, you will uh, lead the caravan and we will, uh, I will go and check out this Wally Dad and see if perhaps I should marry him. Certainly, Your Majesty. A great caravan of horses, elephants, and camels was made ready. With the trembling merchant as a guide, they set out to visit the great Wally Dad. Three days later, the queen sent the merchant on ahead to tell Wally Dad of her coming. Wally Dad. Hmm? Oh, 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 merchant. Uh -huh. Huh. Hi, the queen and her court will be arriving tomorrow for a visit. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Oh, oh I have brought, brought disgrace on us. Oh, what am I to do? Oh, oh. I don't think there is anything that can be done. I must return to the queen. Oh, oh dear. Oh, 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 no, no, no. The next morning, I got up and left my hut for the last time. I brought disgrace on us. Oh, dear. What am I to do? I walked and walked because I could not face this. Suddenly, a bright light appeared in the sky. And in it I saw two beautiful ladies. I knew at once that they were fairies from paradise. I am a stupid old man. <laughs> Please. No shame can come to such as you. Though your clothes are poor, in your heart you are a king. Return, Wally Dad. All is as it should be. I turned and started to walk back to my hut. As I walked, suddenly my clothes became rich with jewels, and my headpiece was beautiful and gorgeous. I walked towards my hut, and it had turned into a palace of many rooms. I walked through the gate into the courtyard, and there were servants everywhere. I went into a room and looked out the large window that overlooked the road, and I could see the queen and her caravan approaching from the east. Then I looked west, and there was another caravan. I went out the gate and went to the queen. Your majesty, welcome, and thank you so much for coming. My dear Wally Dad, we meet at last, but tell me, who is this marvelous king that I see? Your Majesty, I, I think it is the King of Necobad, but give me a minute and I will come back to you. I met with the King. Your Majesty, thank you for coming. Wally Dad, I'm so pleased to meet you. You have sent me such wonderful gifts, but tell me, who is this gorgeous Queen? Your Majesty, this is the Queen of Kyastan. Come, you must meet her. The king and the queen met and fell in love immediately. They were married a week later from my palace. It was a beautiful wedding. They stayed for a few more days. I gave them the, my best wishes from my palace. The very next morning, I took off my fancy clothes and put on some old clothes. Then I left the gate of my palace and walked down the road. I had gone not, not very far before again I saw a bright light 
and the beautiful ladies. Where are you going, Holly Dad? Forgive me. I am a foolish old man, and I am not gra as grateful as I should be for what I have received. Say no more. You, you shall have your heart's desire. I turned and walked back to my hut. <laughs> my hut was back. I went home, went in, went in and sat down on my bed. And the very next morning, I went back to cutting grass. I still send letters to the king and queen and they have a wonderful marriage. I'm totally grateful, but I never again said them again.